Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav. I welcome you to this channel. Uh, in this video, I will be going to talk about the various traditions and the, va the various schools of Buddhism. Right? Now, Buddhism actually, wherever Buddha traveled, he gave the oral teachings. Right? For 45 years, he traveled and gave teachings. Right? So, but after him, what happened was that various people interpreted his teachings in a certain way. And wherever Buddha's teachings went, that teachings had to adapt to that particular place so that it gets assimilated in that place and people could follow the teachings right so various traditions have sprung up before moving and this is like this is just a basic overview video you will not get something very deep something in this what i will do is that and i can only share what limited thing i know my with my limited consciousness what i will do is that after this video and later on i will do individual videos on the specific traditions discussing more about their traditions how they evolved and you know what are the practices in those traditions that i will do different this is just a, like an overview video but before proceeding forward the objective here is just to get give the person a lay person who doesn't know about buddhism a glimpse of the various traditions important thing to understand is that all these traditions share the common core of the buddha's teaching which is the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path so if you see all these traditions whatever the teachings are there they go back to the same thing the buddha's teachings on the four noble truths noble eightfold path the three marks of existence non-self impermanence right they go back to the same thing so it, there is no as such a difference right uh, so that we need to always keep in mind now important thing is that do not worry about tradition so if you want to learn buddhism and you want to follow buddha's teachings do not worry about the various traditions just take the first step and start your learning and as you practice diligently you will gravitate towards the tradition that is the most right for you the that which you most resonate with you just you will find your way right the important thing is to just to take the first step and start in the right direction now it is wrong to think that one tradition is better than the other other important thing to understand is that and it's basically a, a defilement of the mind, individual's mind, where he says that my tradition is superior, my tradition will reach uh, to liberation faster. This is actually the problem, right? So, and many people are get, they get stuck in this problem. So, do not compare. In, instead, if you want to compare, find the similarities. And then you will find that there are so much similarities and the core of all the traditions are, are, are similar. Right. So we will start. I have just made a list of points of my learnings. So the first tradition is the Theravada tradition. Theravada. Theravada is also known as the school of elders. It is the like the most you know un, uh, most orthodox, the earliest kind of tradition, the most orthodox tradition. They follow the first teachings of the Buddha, which are preserved in the Pali Canon. Now this tradition is found pre predominantly in Sri Lanka, Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, these places. In this tradition, the goal is to become an arhat, an enlightened one, a, 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 a person who is free from all the uh, defilements, right? All the anger and the craving and everything, right? So Buddha was an arhat, right? And it is said that Buddha was the uh, was the first arhat who obtained arhatship without without any uh, instructions, right? So there are many arhats, there are many buddhas. Right? Buddha is one of the Arhats and the goal of this tradition is to become an Arhat, become a Buddha. Then comes the uh, second uh, is Mahayan, Mahayan tradition, Mahayan Buddhism, which is known also known as the Great Vehicle. Now that tradition focuses on the newer teachings of the Buddha, which basically expand and reinterpret the earliest in the original teachings. Now this Mahayan tradition is found predominantly in East Asia, Tibet, China, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Mongolia. Right, and this in these places, these are this is found. Now, the aim of this particular tradition uh, is to become a bodhisattva. Right, so we, where basically our I will make a separate video on what is bodhisattva. Our aim is not to seek the enlightenment only for ourselves, but the enlightenment of all beings. So it is said that bodhisattva is a person who can achieve nirvana, but nirvana, which is free from suffering, free from the cycle of birth and death, but they still remain in the, they choose to remain in this plane of existence, 31 planes of existence, within that uh, cycle of uh, samsara, because it, uh, they remain till, till uh, in that cycle of samsara, till there is 
even one soul which is suffering right so their aim is to free everyone from suffering right they also believe that anyone all beings have the bodhis bodhisattva nature buddha nature and can become a buddha and they can embark on the bodhisattva path and reach on the buddhahood in this very life now this mahayana tradition includes uh, the schools of zen and the pure land which we will discuss right so now coming to zen buddhism zen basically is a tradition zen derives its name from chan chan in chan in uh, chinese and dhyan in hindi so there is zen is a tradition which focuses on on direct experience through meditation right so what is like said is that even buddhism there are so many discourses of buddha and all, everything buddha did not create this entire body of teaching his goal is where he goes the people should get transformed through what he utters but then there are a lot of theoretical things built around his teaching so zen is like uh, zen is compared to even the advaita in hinduism right stripping down to the basic fundamental teachings right and then following those teachings so there is not much of the theory things there in, the important thing is the getting that experience in meditation so they focus a lot on the sitting meditation practice which is called the zazen and uh, 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 on on simplicity right and if you want to get more insights on uh, zen then the best book to start with is zen mind beginner mind i have also made videos on this channel on zen mind beginner mind uh, some videos you can check that it's a best book if you want to start with uh, zen then there are other books like zen flesh zen bones and other books right uh, then we come to uh, pure land buddhism pure land buddhism again it's a it's a part of the uh, mahayana sect uh, mahayana uh, sect mainly found in east asia it is a devotional form of buddhism which is focusing on the compassion of amitabha buddha right and its aim is to born, get born in amitabha's pure land which is a realm which is conducive to enlightenment right then we come to vajrayana which is a tantric buddhism it is also known as the diamond vehicle it is an extension of mahayana um it's found mostly in tibet um even in china and other places but mostly in tibet and the the whole tibetan buddhism is derived from this school now it uh, focuses on the transformative certain transformative practices rituals visualizations meditations some advanced techniques of mantras mantras and all to accelerate the spiritual uh, progress right then uh, there are there are certain sub traditions that i would like to say one is a secular buddhism which is basically the where the buddhism where there is no like uh, it's, it just focuses on the on there is no uh, focus on the supernatural elements and other things but the practical steps or aspects of buddhism so this has gained a lot of support in the west and because you don't get since this buddhism word itself is mainly not used uh, in many places so there is a lot of people who get inclined towards following this because they don't think that this this particular teachings will impinge on their religion first of all buddhism is basically teachings right it's not a religion it's a basic teachings so uh, that is basically it helped to spread buddhism to a lot of new places uh, where people would have otherwise not accepted buddhism right so it, it focuses on meditation ethics psychological well-being those things then we come to engaged buddhism engaged buddhism which i i, I or resonate a lot of this which was founded by thich nhat han buddhist monk i talk a lot about thich nhat han in my uh, in my videos uh, thich nhat han was a zen buddhist monk uh, who who was born in uh, vietnam and then he moved to us and the france and he spread the teachings to the west western world it is engaged buddhism means it is mostly the social aspects social and environmental issues applying the knowledge of the buddha to the social and environmental issues like if you see uh, um, they have plum village the community is there which work a lot on the climate change pre preserving the earth and those those things and it emphasizes mindfulness in action and compassion for all beings and uh, so this is you can search for plum village uh, or uh, thiknat han and you'll come across plumvillage.org that is where the thiknat hans community is there and then comes last is uh, some uh, nishiren buddhism nishiren buddhism is emerged in japan there's there was a japanese priest named Nish, uh, nishiren so it's based on the teachings of uh, nishiren now it emphasizes a specific chanting a specific mantra nam myoho renge kyo 
right? This mantra is there, and they emphasize a lot on chanting of this mantra for in, uh, for enlightenment and empowerment, right? So these are the main uh, kind of uh, uh, traditions of Buddhism. Um, I may have missed certain traditions, so uh, do give me comment, do put in comment feedback. Uh, in the comment and definitely uh, when I do the individual videos I will definitely try to include that particular tradition uh, so just this was video was to give an overview on the main traditions again coming back to the essential thing uh, Buddha's core teaching noble, Four Noble Truths eight no, Noble Eightfold Path is the same across all the teachings so uh, do not get confused just start to take the first step in learning about the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path and you will be guided there are higher powers uh, that guide us to the right uh, avenue for our 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 unique needs of the development right so i hope this was useful any comments feedback do mention in the comments section uh, thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaya namo buddhaya